Cyber Fling 7. Part 7 already is coming, and it's going to be taking place April 6th and 7th, uh, two days for Fiber Fling 7, taking place at the uh, Kitchissippi United Church that's located at 630 Island Park Drive. With us right now, we have Sherry Bradford Lee with us. Hello, nice to see Hi, you. Nice and see we you. also have uh, Gary Joyce with us as well uh, from Out of the Box. You're both members of Out of the Box. We are, okay. for sure. Sherry, can you tell me what Out of the Box is all about? It's a group of women and men who meet once a month to actually extend kind of our knowledge of fiber and also to create beautiful pieces. So okay. artisan and artistic pieces are created and we extend kind of the, the medium of fiber. Okay. So, so Gary, how long has Out of the Box been around for at this point? It started in 1997 okay. and it has grown to 90 members now. 90 members. Imagine, imagine that, uh, just because you probably started all the way back then, thinking, who, you know, maybe we'll get a couple of members on board, then you're getting close to 100 already. That's and great. the members are really diverse. They work in all aspects of fiber. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I need to ask you, I mean, the, the word fiber sounds pretty straightforward, but uh, Sherry, tell us exactly what fiber would be. What, what different uh, materials would make up fiber? Wow, well, that's where it comes from the traditional into the non-traditional types, because it used to be, you know, it'd be more what you're wearing, uh, cotton, uh, even synthetics like rayons and stuff, but and beading, you know, things that you do with fiber. Mm -hmm. So fiber itself, well, what you're wearing for sure, and yeah. also things as, as different as, say, tree bark, which is also fibrous. A tree bark would yeah. be considered fiber. It would, and of course leather, and what else, Gary, what can you think of? Well, all the traditional fibers like wool and cotton and linen and silk, mm -hmm. and in all different forms, so it could be yarn already, or it simply could be that you make the object mm -hmm. from the wool fibers, and this is a hand felted bowl. Well, it's hand felt now because you touched it. <laughs> yeah, true. It's true. Point matter. Okay, and it's true though because whenever you think of, uh, of, of fiber you think that it's something that you wear but obviously there's a, a lot of amazing artistic stuff here on the, the table. Uh, Gary, would you like to point out some of the uh, incredible... Um, uh, well, you know, often you think of wall pieces as being flat but if you look at this, there's incredible dimensions mm -hmm. and of course this piece is three-dimensional and this piece that looks like moss is in fact all hand stitched it? with a piece of bark. It has incredible time in it, but mm -hmm. that's not the only way you judge good pieces of art. Soft colors, natural colors that have come from iron and echo dyeing to okay. colors which are modern, bright colors. Okay, let's focus, uh, let's pick out a couple of pieces and we'll focus on it just a little bit. Pick one and tell us uh, who would have created it and, and tell us a bit more about the piece. This so we'll go back to that one. This sure. piece is done by Meredith uh, Filshi and she originally took her inspiration from studying moss, looking at an image and in the creating of the piece, she has added some specific individual nuances that doesn't exist in reality, but just adds to the artistic aspect of the piece. Okay, so what exactly are those? Because like you said, it, it looks like moss, but it's not moss. So what bits of fiber are, are uh, make up that piece of artwork? Well, there's little bits of bead here. There's actual piece of bark here. There's some tiny bit of wool fiber. Uh, embroidery thread um, and just a soft touch of hmm. nuanced fiber It really does there. look like the wilderness, like, like you're right, like it's a plant. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it is, and okay. if at a quick glance you didn't know, mm -hmm. you would swear that it is a, a unique piece of moss. Very artistic. Sherry, perhaps you can uh, mm -hmm. point out one piece and give us a bit of an explanation on it. Uh, well, one of your favorite actually, pieces here. Well, not, not one of my favorite pieces. Okay, what did you know the most about? <laughs> How about this? How about one by Gary? She did these. Okay. Uh, these little guys here, and uh, so that's Gary Joyce. Yes. Who uh, used yarn and various embroidery techniques to actually bring these alive. Mm -hmm. And then there's a piece that I did, and that's uh, made out of this wool right roving. Yeah. Okay. So that's literally taking it from the sheep. <laughs> yeah, really. And just uh, pulled it right off the sheep. Just ripped it off. Wow. And then it Ouch. didn't. Yeah. 
<laughs> they actually kind so of, they're warm. not sad. <laughs> yeah. okay. So we have about a minute so, and a half, so I just, yeah. I just and, and these are all beautiful, but I do want to get to the details, Gary. So the details on Fiber Fling 7, when is it taking place, where are hours, all that good stuff? It's taking place on Friday, April the 6th, and Saturday, April the 7th. On Friday, it runs from Help me yep. out the time. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> on Friday, it's 10 until 8 at night. Right. Okay. And, uh, and then on Saturday? Saturday, it's 10 until 5 p.m. Okay. And on Saturday, the ladies of Kitchissippi United Church run a high tea, which is mm. very popular. Yeah. And that money is donated exclusively to Stephen Lewis Foundation. Okay. Grannies helping grannies. Can you tell us a bit more about the Stephen Lewis Foundation for those who don't know much about it? The foundation was uh, created by Stephen Lewis in 2003 to help African families and children who have been hardest hit by AIDS. Mm. The Grannies to Grannies are groups of grandmothers helping directly to grandmothers who often are left raising those children okay. because the middle generation has been wiped out by AIDS. Pretty important fundraiser you have going on here. So, so obviously, I mean, you're showcasing some amazing artwork and you're raising funds for a great cause. How many artists will be on board for this, Sherry? Oh my, it's going to be at least, uh, well, all of the membership was allowed to contribute. I think there are at least 40, uh, all of them, I think. There'll be about Isn't 40, it? 45 uh, specific members, but yeah. the members at large help out for this large mm -hmm. event. So mm -hmm. there's 90 members to draw on for this entire event, plus the ladies of the church, and they are exquisite yes. sandwich makers. And it's oh. very fast. Oh, we have to get done makers. before church the next morning. Well, of so. course. <laughs> you need to clean up. Uh, to become a member of uh, Out of the Box, how, how can you do that? Oh, well, actually, it's very simple. You can go to our website at uh, Out of the Box. Dot com is it? Dot org. Dot org. Dot org. Out and dash of dash the dash bo that we, we put it on the, there it is, it's on yeah. the screen. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but if you can get to our website, or if you even just type in out of the box. Google search on, out of the box. Yeah, or, or Ottawa Fiber Group Perfect. in Ottawa. Thank you, you for being here it. today. Lots of fun Thank with you. fiber. Alice in Wonderland is coming. More details next.